this is Gary, and I'm uh, going to go through uh, video four. Uh, the buck has been uh, finished, the wire work is on, uh, the sheet metal is getting started here, and I'd like to go through the, the different processes and steps to actually how the sheet metal uh, happens and the tools that we use to do that. So. Uh, so in this case here, I've got uh, a piece of the fender flare and uh, flare, and this has been uh, formed. And then I've run a, a, a MIG weld bead down to hold them together. And, and uh, so I'm looking to make this next piece right here. And so I've taken some construction paper, and in order to make the form, or the template to cut the sheet metal out. Um, paper is a great thing to work with because you can just use scissors and uh, masking tape to put it together and you can start creating the shape. And you probably want to make it an inch or two larger than you need uh, because of uh, the inconsistencies of the paper and all that. Uh, this top bit here is a flange, a 90 degree flange that I'm going to create here, so uh, this car will have a hood that hinges from the front, and then this will be the mating surface, the part line, basically where the hood will come down and rest right here on this flange. Got some interesting curves and shapes and transitions uh, going to more of a flare here on the door panel. So uh, this is kind of a guess and by golly process here, by the way. <laughs> you, you sort of, it's a leap of faith. So anyhow, uh, we'll take this paper and we'll transfer it over to a sheet of 19 gauge uh, AKDQ. It's uh, aluminum killed drawing quality uh, steel. And just basically cut it out with uh, some electric power shears uh, and then start the process of uh, at the English wheel. So that's next. Okay, so this is uh, the English wheel I've been talking about. It's uh, small enough to roll around in pretty much any shop. It's all uh, hand operated. Uh, a lot of strokes back and forth. Basically, it's uh, got an adjustment here on the bottom for tension and different rolls that you can use for different shapes. And in essence, it is basically a process where you roll it back and forth and it's an expanding process or a stretching operation uh, in all aspects. And uh, this is the panel that we, um, we took a look at there with the paper. Uh, I cheated just a little bit and did the work uh, before the video. <clears throat> Other uh, machinery that I'm using here on this proje project is these are called shrinkers and stretchers, and they're operated by foot power. And they can either stretch or shrink, but pretty much only on the edges. Um, so that is uh, a good thing, but it's also a handicap sometimes. The other tools uh, are pretty much basic hand tools. We've got a shot bag here that my uh, mother-in-law sewed up for me, a pair of aviation snippers. Uh, this gizmo here is called a slapper. It's got a leather face on it. Uh, this is a gauge here for transferring uh, shapes. And then some different kinds of hammers uh, that I can use on the shot bag. So, uh, so here, back over here to the English wheel, um, this this is a really interesting machine, and this machinery you just looked at here is uh, made and sold by a guy in Pleasanton, California, uh, named Lazzy, L-A-Z-Z-E dot com. Um, great guy, uh, very, very helpful, puts on training classes, of which I've taken one of his basic classes, uh, and then purchased his uh, little package of machinery here, um, but it's enough. It, it, for the most part, what I've just described are all of the tools except a welder um, that I'm going to use to build this machine here, uh, at least the sheet metal side of it. Um, this is the welder I'm using, a little uh, 110 buzz box. 
Um, I am using a special trimix gas that has uh, CO2 and argon, which helps um, make the uh, puddle, the metal puddle, uh, a little bit less depth penetration, so it's better on thin sheet metal. Um, it's not a fancy machine, it just runs on 110 power and, uh, you know, easy to work. I use like 30 thousandths wire. Okay, so on the other side of the car, um, I've got that same setup, pretty much the, the two rear flares and that one uh, quarter panel that have been uh, put together and attached with the welder. And then this other piece right here is that one will be actually welded onto the hood section. So there will be a seam between those two and I'll create a small uh, 90 degree flange where the mating surfaces come together. So that's for the most part uh, just a step and repeat. You know, there's just a whole lot of panels on this, this uh, project and what I've just gone through is the process that will, uh, will get me there.